Hello, my name is Dr. Steve Bolin and I'm the acting state geologist for the state of California and the head of the California Geological Survey. February 9th marks the 50th anniversary of the San Fernando earthquake. This was an earthquake that galvanized the legislature to pass legislation to make all Californians safer. The legislature saw that hospitals were damaged during the earthquake and recognized that hospitals need to function before, during, and after an earthquake. This gave rise to the Hospital Safety Act uh, that um, requires that hospitals be designed to have this functionality. The CGS is a part of that in reviewing the land on which uh, hospitals sit for the safety and, and uh, being free of geologic hazards. Also, the legislature passed the Alquist Prielo Fault Zone Mapping Act. This is an act that specifies uh, the development of maps by the CGS of where active faults are in the uh, state and development of zones that require special uh, uh, studies and, and care in building in those zones. And it is forbidden to build on top of a known, very recent active fault. The third piece of legislation created the Strong Motion Instrumentation Program. This is a network of seismometers uh, that uh, allows us to advance our science and our engineering to make buildings safe uh, because we understand the intensity of ground shaking both inside and outside a building. So engineers know how to design buildings to ride out a seismic event. Even with all of these advancements uh, and legislation, the, the reality is that Californians are going to be subjected to geologic hazards that are all around us. The most important point to remember is almost all of you are going to survive whatever geologic hazard uh, is, is, is you are exposed to easy to forget about these things and hope they never happen. Hope is not a good part of a strategic plan. Make a plan, be prepared. How well you survive depends on how well you prepare. Thank you very much.